the role of FOMO in education. Is missing out really a setback? In today's competitive educational landscape, students often feel the pressure to be involved in every possible opportunity, whether it's taking advanced courses, joining extracurricular activities, or attending networking events. The fear of missing out FOMO has permeated the world of education, making many students believe that every missed chance is a setback that will negatively impact their future. But is this really the case? Does missing out on certain opportunities mean falling behind? The illusion of setbacks, one of the major misconceptions about education, is that every opportunity must be seized in order to succeed. Students are constantly reminded that their academic and extracurricular achievements will define their future, whether it's in college admissions, internships, or job prospects. This creates an overwhelming sense of urgency and competition, where missing even one event or class feels like a major loss. However, this perception is largely an illusion. While it's true that some opportunities can open doors, it's equally important to recognize that not every mischance is a setback. Education is not a linear path where every step is crucial to reaching the next milestone. Life is full of second chances, and there are multiple ways to achieve success and fulfillment. Sometimes stepping back or missing out on an event can even lead to better opportunities down the road. The value of selectivity, one of the key strategies for managing FOMO in education, is learning the value of selectivity. Not every event, course, or activity is essential to a student's growth or success. In fact, trying to do everything can lead to burnout, stress, and a diluted focus. Students who carefully choose the opportunities that align with their goals and interests are often more successful than those who spread themselves too thin. Instead of seeing every opportunity as a must, students can learn to prioritize what truly matters to them. For example, if someone is passionate about science, they may choose to focus on a few key science-related clubs or internships rather than trying to join every extracurricular activity available. By being selective, students can devote their energy to areas where they can grow, enjoy themselves, and excel. Learning from missed opportunities, missing out on certain opportunities doesn't necessarily mean a setback. It can also provide valuable learning experiences. Sometimes not getting into a desired program or not attending a prestigious event can force students to reflect on their priorities, think creatively, or explore alternative paths. In many cases, what may initially seem like a disappointment can lead to unexpected growth or a redirection toward something even more fulfilling. It's important to remember that success in education isn't about being everywhere at once. It's about making meaningful choices that contribute to a student's long-term personal and academic development. The focus should be on quality over quantity. FOMO and the pressure to keep up. Social media has amplified FOMO in education, as students are constantly exposed to their peers' accomplishments and activities. This can create an unhealthy environment where students feel they need to keep up with others, leading to increased anxiety and self-doubt. The feeling of seeing classmates receiving awards, traveling for conferences, or participating in high-profile internships can make students question their own paths and whether they're doing enough. But education is not a race, and the constant comparison to others can be damaging. Every student has their own unique journey, and what works for one person may not work for another. Instead of trying to match others' achievements, students can focus on their own strengths, values, and passions. True success comes from within, and it's shaped by an individual's personal growth, not by how many checkboxes they've filled compared to their peers. Embracing missed opportunities is part of growth. The fear of missing out can often lead students to believe that missing a single opportunity is a permanent loss. But in reality, educational growth is a continuous process. 
Sometimes what seems like a missed opportunity may not be as crucial as we think. For example, a student might miss out on joining a club due to schedule conflicts, but instead, they might find another organization that better suits their interests or offers more meaningful experiences. Missing a guest lecture might feel disappointing, but a podcast or book on the same subject could offer even deeper insights. In this way, every missed opportunity can open the door to new learning experiences or personal development. Redefining success in education. Ultimately, FOMO in education comes from a narrow definition of success one that is based on external achievements, accolades, and the pressure to participate in every possible event. However, success in education is far more nuanced. It's about finding purpose, developing skills, and becoming a well-rounded individual. Students can redefine success by focusing on their individual goals and learning what truly fulfills them. This means letting go of the pressure to be involved in everything and instead prioritizing what brings joy, challenges their minds, and leads to personal and academic growth. Conclusion FOMO in education is fueled by the belief that missing out on opportunities equates to falling behind, but this couldn't be further from the truth. Not every opportunity is essential, and missing out doesn't have to be seen as a setback. In fact, stepping back and focusing on select, meaningful experiences can lead to greater success and fulfillment. Education is not a race, and students can find contentment by embracing their own unique journeys rather than constantly comparing themselves to others. True growth happens when students pursue what truly matters to them, not when they chase every opportunity out of fear. The background music is from Defomo, Stunning Music, Stunning Nature, Fighting Anxiety. You can find it in my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.